Hey everybody, I had it suggested to me recently that freeze-dried blood worms were more nutritious or more protein rich than the frozen blood worms were and that I should stop using the frozen blood worms and I should use the freeze-dried blood worms because they had a much, much higher protein value than the freeze-dried blood worms, or than the frozen blood worms. And so I got to thinking about it for a minute and before I responded back to this person, I checked and sure enough on the package it showed that the freeze-dried blood worms had 50% protein whereas the frozen blood worms that I have in my basement only contain 6% protein so clearly the freeze-dried blood worms were far far more protein rich than the frozen blood worms and I wondered how that was and it didn't take too long of considering it before I came to the realization we're simply talking about a difference in portion size here and what I mean by that is let's think about this in terms of an individual worm and for the sake of this conversation we're going to make it nice and easy and we're going to say that that worm weighs 100 grams so if six percent of that worm is protein and 90 percent of that worm is water for a 100 gram worm that means six grams of that would be protein weight and 90 grams of that would be water weight so if we dehydrated that worm and we shriveled it all the way down until all that was left was this husk that only weighed 12 grams, that same six grams of protein would now constitute 50% of the weight of that husk. It's the same six grams of protein. We have not inherently changed the nutritional value in that worm one way or the other. We haven't added value, we haven't reduced value. All we've done is remove some of the weight in water. So proportionately, a single worm may have more protein in a percentage sense, but that six grams of protein would still be six grams of protein in either case and the same holds true for our dehydrated versus frozen worms when we feed frozen worms to our fish we put them in there and we have 10 12 maybe 15 worms and we're thinking like oh that's enough you don't want to overfeed your fish you know you're only giving it a few worms at a time because at least i've always assumed that was a really high protein diet and you didn't want to feed them too much and you know 10 of those little worms is plenty but when you feed them one of those little cubes of freeze-dried worms and I've never done this with the blood worms, but I've done it with Tubifex worms plenty of times. I've watched fish gobble that whole entire cube and swallow it down. How many worms are in that? A few hundred? And so, yeah, if the worm's getting, or if the fish is eating 10 worms, it's not going to get a whole lot of protein. But if it's eating 100 worms, because they're all dried up and shriveled up, it's going to get 10 times the amount of protein. So again, it all just boils down to serving size. There's nothing inherently different about freeze drying a worm than there is freezing it. When you freeze it, it just has to be kept frozen. You have to thaw it out. You're giving them whole worms. When it's freeze dried, you can keep it on the shelf and you can rehydrate it by putting it in the tank. It's just more of a convenience thing than anything else. But it brings up an interesting question about portion size. Should we stop feeding the freeze-dried worms in such quantities? Should we make sure the fish are only getting a few of those little freeze-dried worms in the same way we make sure they only get a few of the fully hydrated ones? Because I don't really want my discus in particular eating a whole bunch of those worms all at one time. But at the same time, if I were to put Tubifex worms in the tank or freeze-dried blood worms, I can imagine those discus would eat quite a few of them. So I'm not sure whether I should switch over and start using the freeze-dried worms or if I should just stick with the frozen ones. Probably going to stick with the frozen ones because the frozen ones mimic the natural behavior. And while I've come to realize that they're not very nutritionally valuable to my fish, they do serve a good purpose for my fish. They're a very natural source of food. They in, in, invoke that natural behavior. It causes them to get exercise and swim around and engage 
engaged in that hunting behavior and their foraging behavior. And so it's good all around for the fish. It gives them a variety of food to eat and just keeps things sort of mixed up and active in the tank. But worm for worm, they don't really contain a whole lot of nutritional value. They're mostly water and then they've got a little bit of protein in them. And the same holds true for the mysa shrimp and the uh, brine shrimp. Again, they have a little bit more protein value, about 7%, 65 and a half or seven percent but they're just they're not really super nutritionally rich so the reason you're only supposed to feed these as a treat to your fish occasionally is because you'd be starving them to death if you relied solely on this food it's just not very nutritionally valuable as i always say you're much better off just feeding your fish properly prepared flake food purchased food that's made for fish to eat so Nutritionally speaking, there's no real difference between freeze-dried or frozen. The only fundamental difference is the volume of the amount we're serving the fish. And so it's, it's a matter of portion size more so than anything. So I hope that cleared some stuff up. If you got any more questions, comments, if this raised any thoughts for you, or you're now considering how much you've been feeding your fish, or you've got a good suggestion for me, that would be a good video topic to talk about or whatever, by all means, leave your comment down below. Don't forget to do a live stream every Friday night and Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And of course, I do a members only live stream on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. as well. So if you're interested in that, then sign up for basic membership and you'll get access to that. So in the meantime, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you real soon in the next one.